<laughs> nice. <laughs> How sick is that? I love capturing randomness on, I mean, talk about synergy, man. Talk about dates, so the bike and reptiles colliding right now. <laughs> How awesome is that? Let's go do this. No way. Show you guys. Hey, what's going on? Ken in here. I got my buddy Roberto. He's gonna be helping me out in this video. He just came over. I put him to work. And I always bug him at the bike shop. Uh, he's one of my bike riding buddies, a uh, good friend of mine. If you're in Jupiter, check out Riders Only Bikes. Uh, they'll get you set up. Uh, anyhow, uh, you can see I got a vision cage here. Today is a day we've all been long waiting for, friends. We've got some Fluker's Moss, we got their lighting, we got a bowl, we've got a few odds and ends that are gonna be put to use because today is the day that we get the Black Dragon. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to George Bernier. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. It is en route. It should be here any moment now. So I want to get this enclosure set up. I want to thank Kevin at Nerd, all the guys at Nerd. I am really excited about this. Now, Kevin called me up just a little while ago. This guy, Kevin's funny, man. He's like the monitor lizard savant, okay? He knows everything there is to know about how to care for them and how to more importantly socialize them. So I'm glad he called me because he gave me some homework. Before I unbox the animal, I am to watch one of his nerd videos on how to unbox their monitor. Um, so I'm sure I'm gonna get an education on that video. I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna do the exact same thing he's telling me to do when I unbox my animal because we don't wanna scare a well socialized animal that's been traveling for the last oh 24 hours so um we're gonna go ahead and set this up we're gonna throw the time lapse on you're gonna see us two strapping young lads working and uh let's get it going guys i'm really excited i can't believe it's finally here inky is on the way home Woohoo! let's get to it the little abode ready. Bobby Rubino is up here and uh, Inky is going to be down here. So what do we got? We've got, of course, a flat rock. We've got a branch for uh, her to grow on, uh, climb on. We got a food bowl where I'll put, you know, some of the pre-killed items, um, a little hiding area, a little water she can soak in, um, you know, some nice forest floor bedding, like cypress mulch there. So uh, very good. Of course, using Fluker products is always a big help. Thanks to Fluker for always uh, helping me keep these animals happy. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is come hang out. There's Roberto. Um, and, uh, you know, this came on. You know what it is. Godzilla vs. Kong. Can't wait for this movie to come out, man. It's gonna be awesome, right? It's gonna be great. Okay, anyway, um, you guys will have to watch that trailer on your own if you haven't already. It's been viewed like millions of times. So what's going on? We uh, are now just waiting uh, for Inky to show up. So in the meantime, little shout out session here. Look at this. I wanna shout out my friends at CBI Bikes because they hooked me up. The same good folks that hooked up the vehicle. They have a bike shop in Idaho called CBI Bikes. And uh, if you're looking for a bike, man, they, they do mail order. So definitely hit them up. They've got many great brands. Yeti, Kona, Rocky Mountain. If you need a bike, you can get one. Now, what are we doing? What are we doing, Roberto? You sh I should ride? I should do some manuals. Here, hold this. I'm really psyched on this bike because this is, a, this is just like oh, what I did when I was a kid, man. I just like, let's go do a couple Manuels. 
I, I'm really psyched because this is a fun bike for manual. Now, I hope I don't embarrass myself. Nice. <laughs> How sick is that? I love capturing randomness on, I mean, talk about synergy, man. Talk about taste so the bike crazy. and reptiles colliding right now. <laughs> How awesome is that? Let's go do this. No way. The best part is the manual wasn't so bad. Oh, that was good stuff. All right. Oh my God, guys. I'm so, I'm lucky, I guess the wind blew the gate shut. So our friends at, F, at FedEx just left it right there. So hopefully she hasn't been there too long. Um, so this is it. Come on, Roberto. What are you doing? Here, can you film, buddy? Absolutely. Thanks, just point it on the action. What we're gonna do is first, we're gonna go into the room. Come on in. So this is how Cabinet Nerd says we should do it. You, know, you want to go into a quiet room and you want to open, open the box gently because you can imagine this animal just went through a traumatic experience. I mean, it was taken from a, it's the only home it's known and it was shipped out. Look at this guys, oh, this is so cool. We got some bracelets, nerd bracelets, Nerd stickers, these are going on the bike and car. How cool is that? Thank you so much, guys. A little packing slip. And now we're gonna open and meet. Nice warm, you can feel, feel that, Roberto. Oh, it's nice and warm in there. Nice. Beautiful packing job, guys. If you are looking for a captive bred socialized water monitor, these are the guys you got to get it from. All right, so here she is. So what we want to do is obviously I'm going to start talking a little bit calmer. I get excited, but we want to be calm with the animal. And I'm going to move this knife and we're going to allow the animal to just kind of start to come out on its own. Um, that is going to be the best way to get this animal secure of its new situation. And I'm gonna go ahead and just gently cut the rope. I don't wanna mess with, I mean, Kevin did a good job tying this. There we go. Oh, I'm excited about this. Guys, it's been a very, very long time. Oh, so let's just let her come on out. Come on out, little one. Let's see if we can do it as good as Kevin did it in his video he was kind of towering over her so i'm gonna just lay down oh my god it's a black dragon people hey girl come on oh this is this is so sick you guys are not gonna believe this let me make sure the phone's silenced i don't want any interruptions for this and it's so cool that Roberto's here to help out see this unboxing. So let's just be patient. Let's just see um, what she does. And uh, if it takes a while, good thing I have a time lapse right here. So we could just do this. So let's just see what she does. I'm gonna pull out some of this tissue paper. Yeah, and she's, been, she's in the way back corner. There she is. Oh my gosh, hi, I'm your daddy. That's Inky, she is definitely black. Black as midnight, what a precious little thing. Come here, babe. Come on. Hi, Inky. You can, you can imagine, guys, that she was just super calm in her home. Come on. Oh, we're getting a tail flick. We're getting a little, she's licking me right now here. I'm gonna show you guys where she is. You can see her right there. So I'm just gonna go underneath and touch her. Remember, these are socialized animals from Nerd. So we're just gonna do that. 
what I'm going to do is open up. Here we got to open up the little tripod. Or you can hold it right there. There she's flicking on my skin. She's flicking her tongue on me. And I'm going to start petting her under her chin. And she's allowing me to do it. And her skin feels just amazing. Come on, Inky. So, like Kevin says, just positive reinforcement. This is not a this is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. She's really getting that tongue going, which is what he wants. She's curious. I'm looking at her eyes. So she's used to this kind of touch and she knows that it's a reassuring thing because that's how these guys have been raising her. Um, so basically, whenever there's a little setback, like when she gets scared, you just relax and just kind of try and re redo her. So let's see. Once you get her a little bit comfy, you're going to gently come from underneath and we're going to reveal her to everyone. So I'm just going to do this very gently. I'm just going to pull the bag away and we don't want to restrain her. Here she comes. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I had to grab her. That's why you do it in a room. That's why you do it in a room that is secure. But look at her. And this is another tactic that I learned in Kevin's video. You don't want to really restrain her. You want to tire her out. She's got a little bit of nervous energy. And rightfully so. Look at see, you kind of tire her out. Not really restraining her. You just want to let her get used to being handled. All right, there we go. You gotta also understand that an animal of this size thinks that everything is a predator. And so what we're doing, look, but there's been no, a little urination, a little defecation. I'm sure Kate's gonna be real happy about that. Don't watch this video, Kate. I'm in trouble. So anyway, um, I don't blame her for being a little nervous, but you can see that by doing this, we are tiring her out. I'm not really restraining her. I'm just allowing her to walk and kind of get rid of that nervous energy. So let's just keep it going. How cool is this? All right. Very, very cool. And I'm really glad uh, Kevin called me this morning and told me to watch this video. Look at that. Very alert. She's a little nervous. You can see it in her eyes. You can see her breathing. She's just a little bit nervous. But we just want to touch her underneath. There we go. I can't believe I have a black dragon, folks. Uh, Kevin sent me a female first. As far as we know, Inky is a female. Oh, you got sharp little claws, little lady. There we go. We can move this. I'll run the vacuum again here later. How cool, what do you think, Roberta? That's awesome. It's cool, right? That beautiful. Awesome. Can you imagine this animal as large as Slinky one day? I mean, a beautiful black creature. Um, when we get another, when we get a male, I have an idea of what I wanna name him. I'm gonna name him Lugosi. <laughs> like Bella Lugosi, for all you kids out there, he was an old time horror star. And I listened to a band called Bauhaus and they're like gothic music. Uh, and I just think of, you know, these black dragons are the true gothic creatures, black as midnight, you know? But look at this beauty. Is this amazing, guys? And believe me, I'm trying to stay calmer right now because uh, there's, she's got a little open mouth. So let's pet her. Let's reassure her that I'm not going to hurt her. I'm just going to let her crawl. We don't want her to go too far because she can get into some of this stuff. So I want to just grab her, hang out with her. We've got um, some roaches coming and some worms for her to eat. They should be here in a little while. Uh, Fluker has sent out some of their animals, uh, some of their feeder animals. Oh, she's gonna vomit. That looks like it's a, uh, she might be a little upset. That's usually a sign that they have, are gonna regurge. But I just wanna tire her out a little bit more. And the more I touch her and the more she sees that I'm not a threat, the easier it's going to be to re-socialize her to me. 
Okay, so now the next thing we do is let's pull this animal up higher. And I can, you know, if you look, if you want to get a little bit closer gently, you can kind of see how in her eyes, she's got wide eyes and she's a little nervous. So we, we really want to keep this animal calm. So let me get her above me. And this is another tactic that I've learned from Kevin's videos and from being with Kevin uh, in New England, in New Hampshire. If the animal's higher than us, we don't look as imposing. You gotta remember, we look like Godzilla to her. So it's important just to kind of reassure them. So I'm just gonna pet her. You never wanna come from above her. Um, a couple of times I had to grab her. There we go, there we go. All right, there you go, there you go. Just relax. <laughs> oh, we gotta grab her. Oh, she's... She's gonna take a little work, but that's okay, man. That is the whole, that's the whole mission with these little things. Uh, I am not at Kevin McCurley level yet, but um, having him as a mentor and getting one of these beautiful animals from him is really an honor that they trust me uh, and they sent one of these animals to me because this is a bucket list animal uh, for me. You guys know I love monitors. Um, I love water monitors. I just think they're so intelligent. I think that they're a special animal. And to, <clears throat> I got a little dry throat, you hear it? I'm just so excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what's really cool is so many times people do not give reptiles credit for being intelligent. And when you look at monitor lizards, just like in Jurassic Park, when Muldoon was saying, uh, they look right back at you. It looks like they're working things out. That's how I feel about monitor lizards. I do feel like they look back at you, they're sentient, and they are processing information. Highly, highly intelligent animals. And how about the fact that this little girl here is black? Inky, Inky's arrived at the camp, guys. Let's go put her in her enclosure and let her settle down a bit and you'll be watching videos. You can follow me, buddy. I, I like having a camera person around. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put her in the water first. It's a relaxing feeling. We have some nice lukewarm water right in here. So let's just, let's just show her. And the cage is just big enough. Um, we don't want to go bigger than this. If you get too big a cage, the animal will always hide. I want her to explore and feel comfortable. So I think this is now the biggest that we should put a lizard of this size in. They want to be secure. Uh, they want to feel like that place that we have a fluke or hide. We've got a water bowl, we got a food bowl, we got a basking area and some branches for her to climb on. So let's just put her right here. Here, come on. I'll just bring you guys real close so you can see her. Do her thing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, how amazing is this animal? See, she's calming down. There you go. There you go, Inky. Go on. Go exploring. And she most likely will go look for a place to hide because, you know, that's what her instincts are telling her to do. And she's just had, like I said, a pretty intense 17, 18 hour trip. But you can see, she's just kind of wandering around. She's gonna see what's going on. Um, amazing. Just an amazing animal. See the tongue flick, guys? She's really starting to take in all those chemical cues. She's really trying to figure out where she is, that this is now gonna be her new home. And I'm her daddy. And this is gonna be a long-term project, right? This is the rest of her life and mine. Uh, we are going to become friends, and I can't wait for you guys to see that and see the progress that I make with this animal. Um, and then, of course, we're going to eventually get another black dragon and have a pair of them. Uh, so it's really, really cool. Let's just see what she's doing here. Look, she's there's the water. Beautiful girl. That is, she doesn't seem too stressed out now, huh, guys? She's looking at me. Look, are you gonna come over to me? What are you gonna do? I love it. And I think I'm gonna put a larger water dish in here for her so she could have a little bit more water to swim in. Right now, this is what I've got, um, but I will probably purchase a larger water bowl 
So that is really cool. She's just really squirming around in there. Inky. All right. What do you guys think of Inky, man? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm super excited. I can't believe that this animal made it here. She is gorgeous. I can't thank Kevin and the guys at Nerd uh, enough. Just feel very fortunate that I have made friends with some amazing people in the reptile hobby. And um, I'm just super excited that they trust me uh, with this animal. So it's always an honor, man. And uh, I can't wait till I can visit them again or have them come visit and see how this little girl's doing. It is awesome. So we're gonna let her get acclimated, guys. I'll gonna just let the time lapse run. I'm gonna relax. Uh, this is so cool. I actually have an eye doctor appointment. I think I need to get more glasses. Oh, what a bummer. But uh, the cool news is, is that this lizard is gonna be happy and healthy and truly loved here at Camp Kennedy. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think of Inky. All right, everyone, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna leave you with a little time lapse of this beauty exploring her new home. See you soon.